Hi. So if you're a regular user of Google Meet, you probably use the Grid View extension by Chris Gamble. Recently, you might have seen some people talking about the new Grid View, or if you've gone into your Grid View and seen he's asking, there's a little note asking to move to the updated version. So we're going to talk about that. And the new version is more than just stable and has a new icon. It has some cool new advanced features that I'm going to show you today. So to begin with, let's make sure we're in the right grid view. So what most of us started using was this Foursquare icon version here. The new one, um, these are all by Chris Gamble. I think this is made for somebody in particular, the one with the colors. Um, the new one is the one with the nine square, the full tic-tac-toe board as, as opposed to the four square here. So assuming you're in this one and you can check by, if, if you look up at your extensions uh, board, for example, um, right here on mine, we see the nine square. Uh, but so once we have the right thing, so here we are back in Google Meet. So there's a couple of things about Google Meet that people sometimes like. You may have already seen when I move the mouse, my toolbar pops up. You know, we all are doing that thing lately where we start talking in a Zoom Meet or a Google Meet or a team, Microsoft Teams, and we forget that we are muted. In Google Meet, this toolbar goes up and down. And if we are in the chat, the toolbar goes away. So let's talk about grid view. So here I am, I have grid view turned on. If you hover over here, and as it turns out, if you click on the extension, you can also see these here. So most of the time we don't click on the extension, but it's got some cool stuff. So these were in the prior mode, highlight speakers, which is why you see that green uh, sort of teal bright box around me when I talk and when I stop talking, it goes away. Um, include yourself in the grid. I almost always do this because especially if I'm the moderator or the organizer of the grid, by putting myself on the grid, it allows me to mouse over and uh, it allows me to mouse over and mute myself when there's a lot of people in the grid. And it also helps me as a visual reminder when I've forgotten to mute my mic that if my little box lights up, it helps me remember I need to be quiet. And then enable grid view by default. This keeps us from having to turn it on all the time. Now these were always, these were there in the prior and the four square version, but in the advanced settings, there's some really cool new things in here. So for starters, let's see where it says the, the bottom toolbar behavior. Right now it's, it's at its default, resize when uh, the grid wind tool is showing. What that means is you notice, I'll click out of here for a second. As I move around, my, my grid box gets a little slower, a little smaller. Does the same thing with chat. N notice my, my tile got smaller when the chat opened up. And when I click out of that, the chat get, uh, it, uh, the chat goes away and my tile gets bigger. So in advanced settings, there's, there's ones that deal with chat, ones that deal with the toolbar, and then people here. So the first one is resize the grid when the tool is showing. Now that's Google Meet's default behavior. But what I think is really awesome is this. Um, so obscure the, the grid when toolbar is showing means that um, it wouldn't resize the tiles. I don't know uh, why you'd want to do this if you were in a meet with more than like 20 or so people, that bottom row would be blocked. But this one right here, always show, show toolbar and resize grid. So once I turn that on, I'm going to click out of here like, look, no matter what, even if I open the chat, the toolbar is still there. If you're not psyched about that, you're not a Google Meet user or you don't use it often enough. Um, heading back into the advanced settings. Um, there's the chat behavior, which is the same thing. Obscure the grid when the chat is showing. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. So when that's on, notice that it covers up instead of making everybody's tiles smaller. Um, I. I personally wouldn't, I don't have a need for that, but I, it's, it's good to know that it's there. And then there's this last one, which I think is definitely um, going to be helpful for teachers or anybody who has to pay attention to like attendance. So it says modify participant name. So basically right now, if we take a look, these are in alphabetical order. This, this is our ed tech department account, first name, ed, last name, tech, and me, uh, Josh Harris. If we come into the advanced settings, and we switch, so no name modification, it's like first, middle, last, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. If we switch it to move the last first, notice it rearranges the order of the grid. Now, because Harris, my last name, is um, 
is, is primary, I've moved. So grid view has always put people in alpha order, but it puts them alpha order by last name. This gives you the option of changing that order. So no modification means by first name. This uh, Bravo Charlie is if you have a bunch of kids or no kids, uh, participants, meeting attendants who have uh, hyphenated or double last names or maybe a middle name, the uh, the Bravo Charlie comma alpha, this, this middle one would allow the first part of that double last name to, to organize along those lines. If you see that, you see it, it doesn't really change it for me because no one here has um, a double last name. So then this last one, keep things mirrored or, or flip to match what other people see. I think the mirrored is probably easier, especially if you are pointing to things um, and you need to be pointing in the direction that you think you're, you're going to be um, actually going to be pointing. So I, I am most excited about this toolbar. One, if, if nothing else, it's a reason to keep grid view on uh, by default all the time. You never lose your toolbar, never lose your ability to uh, mute yourself, turn your camera on or off, never have to do all the clicking just to get the toolbar to reappear, especially if you uh, click into another thing. So I just wanted to share that with you because I think it's great new features in the new version of um, grid view for Google Meet by Chris Gamble.